Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Um, I did a uh, another video that I posted on BitChute because I don't think it would go fly very well on Tube, being that Tube deleted four of my videos in one day. So the controversial so-called stuff I'm going to put on BitChute and I'm not going to post on the Tube. And then if my channel on the Tube gets deleted, well, you'll know where to find me. And I could always post updates on BitChute. But uh, this is going to be an, possibly an introduction. I'm thinking about doing a series on the tabernacle. Now, you know what's interesting is when you look at the arrangements of the armies of Israel and the arrangement of the furnitures, furniture of the tabernacle, they make a very interesting shape. So let's take a look at something real quick. Philippians 3.18, you know why they hate Paul? Here's another reason. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you, even weeping, that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. They are enemies of the cross of Christ. Guess what? The furniture in the tabernacle... If you looked at it from above, like a drone or an airplane or a high ladder, it was shaped in the shape of a cross. The armies of Israel, when they were in the encampment, was in the shape of a cross. Who hates the cross of Christ? Well, the Israelis. Um, I know I've mentioned it before. I'll mention it again. On their calculators, they that are sold in their country, for now, anyways, it's their country for now, they won't have a plus sign. That's a cross. They won't use that. They have a T for total. Who else is an enemy of the cross of Christ? Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, that's a torture stick. Well, I've heard that lie before. Yeah, that, that was the same group that told me that the uh, world was going to end by 75, 1976. Yeah, yeah. And now, now, of course, they'll deny, well, we didn't really say that. Yes, you did, you bunch of lying sacks of cow manure. Or is it horse manure? Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't cow, it was a bull. Yeah, you bull manure or horse manure, whichever, p take your pick. But um, they've made so many false prophecies. I mean, they're false prophets, but they hate the cross. And of course, to them, Jesus is uh, a mere angel. He's Michael. Yeah. So, enemies of the cross of Christ. But I was thinking about doing a video on the furniture of this tabernacle. You know, it's interesting if you do a study on the the Hebrew holy days, like Passover and tabernacles and uh, what have you, uh, you can plainly see the plan of salvation. And when you look at the furniture in the tabernacle, you can see the plan of salvation also. So, you know, when I, people tell me, oh, well, you know, the Bible's just a, a written book. Yeah, well, the Romans put all that together so that they can control us. I don't think so. I do not think so. They can believe that if they want. And then when they uh, look at Christ and look at the faith, uh, lake of fire, well, they can argue with him. But... Uh, 
I I know there's people that have done better jobs than I have on the uh, God's Holy Days and the Plan of Salvation. I mean, you could do a search and find it. But the uh, the tabernacle, maybe I'll do both. I don't know. I was planning on taking a break, but uh, these sometimes these things pop into my head, and I don't want to be disobedient. Uh, but the tabernacle, when you look from the from the the from the ba, uh, from the entrance to where the high priest went into the holy of holies. You can plainly see the plan of salvation from the function of the furniture. And, like I say, it was in the shape of a cross. And the armies of Israel, they were in a shape of a cross, They're the way they were set up. So I found that very, very interesting. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, and... There was a there was a good book. I think his name was Irwin. I think it was Hirschberger. His first name was Irwin. I think it's Hirschberger. I'm not sure. Um, Seeing Christ in the Tabernacle. The original printing of that book showed the furniture in the Tabernacle in the shape of a cross. The new printing of the book got rid of that. I guess the uh, publishers didn't like the cross, so they uh, had him change the cover, or they changed the cover. I don't even know if the guy's still alive. I had the book and read it, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago. I went. I think I hit, it, hit a truck stop when I was driving cross-country, and uh, a lot of those had uh, little book stands from a company called Choice Books. A uh, small Christian company, I believe. Well, a small company of Christians, and they sold pretty much pretty good books. And they were paperbacks, you know, 4 or $5, you know. So I used to look at the titles, and if I saw something I liked I'd or interesting, I'd buy it. And um, I had the book, but I lost it. I don't... I, I've lost all my books like three times at least. So, but uh, the original printing had it had the furniture in the shape of a cross, and I I I had to really look to get the the pictures that you're looking at on the computer screen. But the the new book, like I say, doesn't have the original picture that shows plainly the shape of a cross. Doesn't show it anymore. So, yeah. Enemies of the cross. Galatians 6.12 As many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised, only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. Galatians 6.14 But God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. First Corinthians one seventeen. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ be made of none effect. Yeah, they hate Paul, all right, and I know exactly why. They hate the cross of Christ too, and they want to take you back to the old, the old covenant where you can keep laws. And then when you appear before Christ, probably at the white throne judgment, which is the bad one, by the way, um, you've got no covering for your sin. You don't have a robe washed in the blood of Christ, a white robe, blood washed in the blood of Christ. No, you got laws. But Lord, I kept your Ten Commandments, sort of, kind of. No, you didn't. All you had to do was break it one time. Remember that nickel you stole when you were a kid? When you were six years old? You broke the law. There's a penalty. 
I broke a lot of laws. I think I broke all the Ten Commandments. Yeah. And I'm not proud of it either. I'm not bragging. So, what can I tell you? The cross of Christ, people. All you got to do is look at who are the enemies of the cross of Christ, who hates the teachings of Jesus, and you'll know to do the opposite of whatever they tell you. You know, the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses used the King James Bible for uh, probably around the first 50 years of their existence. I'm not exactly sure of the date, but they, they got rid of it in 1964, about the time that the Supreme Court said, oh, we can't have Bible reading and and prayer in public schools in Jesus' name. That'll warp the minds of those poor little children. Yeah. Back when uh, we had um, less than a couple thousand murders in the United, the entire United States. Can you imagine that? Only a couple thousand murders in the entire United States in the early 60s. Now, Chicago last year, uh, last year had more murders in that one city in one year than the whole entire country did back in like 1960. What changed? Yeah, take a guess. But uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses were getting their, uh, people were finding out that they were a bunch of liars because when they would read the King James Bible, they'd say, wait a minute, you say Michael's the archangel, but in 1 Timothy 3.16, it says God was manifest in the flesh. What gives? And the leadership probably thought, well, pfft, we got to get rid of this. So they created the New World Order, I'm sorry, the New World Translation. Or is it the New World Order Translation? Yeah, you know. But, uh, yeah. And uh, that little that little kosher tribe in the Middle East that are by Bible definition antichrist, they hate the cross too. So what more can I tell you? You know, I mean, it, that, that should tell you everything you need to know. So, all right, well, maybe I'll do uh, the, uh, this will be the introduction to the uh, tabernacle. And I'll, maybe I'll do a big, um, not a big study, but, you know, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll do it. All right. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.